And we're back coach, talking with Coach Cantrell. Coach Cantrell, big win for you guys uh, today. Interesting day, Saturday afternoon ball game. And uh, just talk about the week preparing for this uh, Saturday afternoon game. Well, you know, we decided, uh, of course, it was homecoming and a lot of other things besides the football game going on. So we needed to needed to do some uh, moving around just so we could, uh, you know, do that for the girls and, you know, all the dresses and all the appointments and everything that they have to do. So uh, we decided... We got a weather forecast that said uh, rain through 6 o'clock on Friday night. But, uh, of course, it turned out it left uh, around lunchtime or so. And we could have played last night. But, you know, you have to make that decision early on Thursday. And we just going back kind of the information we were given by the weather service. And didn't work out that way. But, uh, you know, it, I think probably had a better crowd because of Saturday afternoon and nicer weather. So, Mantachi was good enough to to not mind coming over here today, and we appreciate them for that, and uh, thought it was a good day. All right, Coach, uh, did a good job getting your starters out there, taking care of business in the first half, uh, kind of like was expected, and then you let a lot of younger uh, kids get played in the second half. Just take us through the first half with your starters and then carry over to the second half. With the I don't kids. know how many times we ran it the first half, probably four or five at the most, something like that. You know, we threw the ball, didn't run a lot of plays, period, cause, but threw five touchdowns, and I don't know how many yards or anything, but... You know, uh, I didn't. I told Jamie at halftime. I said, "Well, you had a good day." I said, uh, "Anytime you throw five touchdowns and uh, did not particularly think you threw it well," uh, he said, well, "I didn't think I threw it well either because he underthrew some balls and that kind of stuff." But uh, he said, "Just couldn't get loose today." I said, "Well, it's good good problem to have when you're not loose and throw five touchdowns." Yeah. So, uh, you know, I thought did a pretty good job there. Pass protection was okay, and uh, you know, we uh, defensively. I think they had about 50 yards the first half, something like that. But uh, we've got to get a lot better on defense. We're trying to play a lot of people and trying to, you know, not being fresh is not an excuse. You know, they're, they're there and they, same for our offensive line. They're getting lots of lots of breaks. So need to be playing harder and better on, up front on both sides of the ball. All right, Coach, let's talk about uh, Marcus Sanders. Did a good job there. Uh, let him get a good many carries there in the early part of the second second half. Yeah. He was ripping off close to six, seven yards of carry. Yeah, he was. And, you know, Mark's a good, good little back. And, of course, we had our, uh, our, some of our backups in at that time. But, he, uh, you know, I want to give him some touches because, you know, he's going to have to run the football some for us to be successful. We, we're not going to line up those five touchdowns every week. So I want to give him some, some, some reps there. And, you know, really didn't want him to be playing right then. But he needed to run to get in shape because, you know, running – with people tackling you is not just like running wind sprints. So that's why we left him in, try to get him in a little better ball shape. Coach, Matt's actually a scrappy team, gave you a hard fight all day, really didn't quit till the end. Right, they, they, they are always that way, Coach Hill. And Coach McCarver, they do a great job. Those kids up there and have forever. I've known, known both of them for a long time, and, uh, you know, we're all good friends, and, uh, you know, glad they would come over and play today with us, and I, I was impressed with their kids. They had a good attitude and worked hard, just like they always do. So, hope they have a good year. All right, Coach, and just uh, to close out, I know it's a real quick turnaround, but you got to do it quickly. you got a big ball game Friday night and short time to prepare with this Saturday afternoon ball game. True. I saw, uh, saw Lewis for, uh, in, live and in color last night against Kosciuszko. Awfully impressive. Uh, remind me a lot of Franklin County, big, physical, fast, and uh, you know, that's uh, told our kids a while ago, and if you play in that state championship game, that that's similar to what you're going to be seeing this Friday. So, uh, you know, hopefully we can uh, get have a good game plan put together for them. And things going to be happen a lot faster this Friday. So we've got to got to turn it up a gear. If you don't, and they leave you in the dust, and they they're very capable. They're good offensively and and really physical on defense. So we've got our hands full, no doubt. And coach, it's going to be a big night honoring the. Uh baseball championship team as well as the bowling team. So it really give you a chance to encourage your, uh, I guess you said, the Nelton Nation. It's always a good team to come out, but could really be a big factor in that ball game for sure. you. Sure, and it's always good to see those guys that have left your program through graduation and been successful here. And it's going to be good to see them come back because there's about 10 or 11 of them that played baseball. Uh, coming back to get the state championship rings, it's good to see four or five of them here on the sideline today. So, you know, always glad to see them and talking to these younger kids about what's expected of a Nettleton football player. And I think, you know, they, they get tired of listening to us. They'll listen to those guys a little better sometimes. 
as is the coach. Well, congratulations on the win today. Moved to 3-0. and Big division game coming up against Louisville uh, Friday night. Good luck with that. And uh, hopefully uh, hear good things continuing out of the Nelton football program. Thank you. Appreciate it.